We're traveling north of Las Vegas, Nevada, our destination, Area 51, the infamous U.S. Air Force Base that is shrouded in mystery and riddled with conspiracies. There is somewhat of a hype about all things UFOs and extraterrestrial in the U.S. these days, following the release of a Pentagon report on UFOs. On our way to Area 51 on the so-called extraterrestrial highway, we came across this place here, the Alien Research Center. Of course, it's not really a research center, it's a gift shop, and our luck has it, it's closed today. Closed or not, so-called UFO tourists are stopping by. On one hand, fully aware that the Alien Research Center is only about souvenirs, but on the other hand, also open to the idea that this is a place for scientific research on aliens. You never know. I mean, we are pretty close to Area 51, so you never, you never know. It is this you never know, that inherent doubt many people have, created by perhaps unwarranted secrecy, that is the problem for people like retired Navy pilot Lieutenant Commander Alex Dietrich. We meet her in Boulder, Colorado. So I had this experience in 2004, almost 17 years ago. That experience Dietrich is referring to is known as the Nimitz incident. It shows what Dietrich and three of her colleagues encountered off the coast of San Diego, California. It is just one of dozens of encounters by other pilots. They are all categorized as Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, or UAP, meaning the Pentagon has no explanation for them and kept them secret for years. Dietrich proposes a different approach. I would hope to contribute to the reductions of stigma and uh, to promoting or encouraging uh, a, a deliberate uh, and, and thorough collection and reporting process so that those individuals who are qualified to make the analysis have the information that they need and that they can conduct that thorough investigation and analysis to come up with some conclusion. Dietrich's plea for scientifically standardized data collection on UAP is designated an absolute must in the future by NASA research scientist Ravi Kumar Koparapu. From a scientist's perspective, my take on the UFOs is we don't know what they are. We cannot uh, speculate what they are uh, without having proper data collected on them to find out uh, the nature of these UFOs. And my hope is uh, we would focus on the science part of the scientific study of UFOs and avoid any speculation and be agnostic about uh, investigating them. Back on the extraterrestrial highway in Nevada, we finally arrive at Area 51. Even if this U.S. Air Force base will perhaps never reveal its secrets, most experts and serious minds agree, when it comes to UFOs, we simply don't know what we don't know. But we should look into it.